Thank you, Kara and Himan Huaman. You might remember in Detroit, we gave our graduated projects the opportunity to share their updates with you themselves. We wanted to continue this, and I'm happy to announce that we have some exciting updates straight from the community to share. So sit back and watch some familiar faces and new faces from the community give us some updates from CNCF's graduated projects. Hello, I'm Alice from the Envoy Gateway Project with some quick updates from Envoy Proxy and its sister projects, Envoy Mobile and Envoy Gateway. Some of the highlights in Envoy Proxy are support for upstream HTTP filters, file system buffering, and extended ECDS support, as well as a number of performance enhancements to make Envoy faster and leaner. On the Envoy mobile front, Lyft has measured performance relative to industry standard networking libraries and has found it met or exceeded baseline performance in many cases. There's also been plenty of work towards feature completeness and performance improvements. Last but not least, Envoy Gateway reached a milestone in support for HTTP routing and rate limiting and is well on its way to support the first release supporting custom extensions. Hi everyone, welcome to the KubeCon Flux project update. We're excited that Flux is validated in the ecosystem. For one, Flux is graduated in the CNCF. Also, GitLab joins others like AWS and Microsoft who trust Flux to deliver GitOps to their customers. Flux will reach general availability by June this year. Flux works with your tools using controllers and ID extensions. Flux brings GitOps to Terraform, and now you can bring GitOps to CloudFormation thanks to the work by the AWS team. Finally, you can do GitOps deployments from Visual Studio Code directly. We are celebrating Flux graduation here at KubeCon. Scan this QR code and join us. At KubeCon, my name is Eduardo Silva. I'm the creator of Fluentbit, which is a lightweight telemetry agent for logs, metrics, and traces, fully compatible with OpenTelemetry and Prometheus. Today, we're announcing the release of Fluentbit 2.1, which comes with exciting new features, like hot reload support, a new way to add metadata to your logs, and a new filter to convert from logs to metrics. Also, we extended host metrics support for Linux and Windows, plus the capability to collect your Podman container metrics. In the tracing space, now you can filter and process your spans, and we improve the overall open telemetry support. Please stop by the Fluentbit booth and grab your Fluentbit t-shirt. Thank you. Hello, KubeCon. My name is Zorlin, and I'm a member of the Harbor project. Last December, we have released 2.7, which has two major features, the job service monitor and replication by chunk, which is a step forward toward the Harbor and Edge implementations. And just this Monday, we have released 2.8. It's a full OCI 110 spec compliant. Also, we have reworked our webhooks. We have added cloud events. And on the other hand, we have removed Chart Museum and we started the application process of Notary. If you like our project or you want to join the effort for the Harbor Operator or Terraform Provider for Harbor, scan the QR code and I see you on our next community meeting. Thank you very much. Hi everyone, this is William Morgan. I'm one of the creators of Linkerd, here to give you your KubeCon EU Amsterdam Linkerd project update. So it's an amazing time for Linkerd. Last year, the number of stable clusters running Linkerd around the world actually doubled. And this week, we held our first ever Linkerd Day event with a set of amazing end user talks from around the world. We also just released Linkerd 2.13, which adds two important features to Linkerd. The first is the ability to dynamically route requests based on HTTP method, verb, query param that's built on top of the Gateway API. We also added circuit breaking, finally available in Linkerd. We have a ton of maintainers here at KubeCon EU. Please come find us and say hi, either at the Buoyant booth or at the Linkerd Project Pavilion booth, and enjoy the show. Hello, this is a quick update on the Open Policy Agent and Gatekeeper projects. In the Rego language, we've added a new rule head syntax to write more expressive policies while needing fewer files. We've also added JSON schema built-in functions to validate input objects against expected schemas. In the Policy Engine and Server, we've made many performance improvements. For Gatekeeper, external data feature is now beta. Data CLI is beta. 
new assign image mutator was added to enable mutation of image registry or tag. We've added multi-engine support to allow integration with Kubernetes cell validating emission policy in the future. Come and check out our projects. Hi, I'm Julius, Prometheus co-founder here. In Prometheus 2.39, we added experimental support for ingesting out-of-order samples into the TSDB. And Prometheus 2.40 added a new native histogram metric type. Those native histograms will allow you to track value distributions at a much better precision and at lower cost. They're still experimental, but you can already try them out today. Starting with Prometheus 2.43, we're also experimenting with reducing memory usage and increasing performance in some cases by storing label sets as a single string. And finally, we have just started work on a new Alert Manager UI, and we hope to make both the Prometheus and Alert Manager UIs consistent in the future. Puff consists of a specification, as well as implementations in Python, Go, Rust, and Java that can be used to secure Hacks like this aren't a problem for your users if you use Tuff to protect your registry. Tuff is designed to retain strong security guarantees even when attackers, like nation state actors, compromise users, keys, and servers. Members of the Tuff community came out with a new OpenSSF project, the Repository Service for Tuff, which provides tooling for repository integrations of Tuff. And finally, SigStore's Tuff Root of Trust had its seventh key rotation event with new support for Tuff delegations. To learn more about the ongoing work of Tuff, Join us on Friday for our Maintainer Track Talk. My name is Deepti Sigredi. I'm a maintainer and tech lead for Vitus. Vitus is a scalable distributed database system built around MySQL. The latest GA release is 16.0, and in the last few months, we have done six patch releases as well. We've made various improvements to the documentation on the website. We continue to see adoption from uh, large companies like GitHub, Activision, et cetera. We just went through a security audit. We have two talks, uh, one on Thursday and one on Friday, and the QR code will take you to our website, which has a link to our Slack workspace documentation and GitHub repo.